really close right now. He's thinking about it. Why does it jump? Look at those yeah, hackles. His back is yeah. threatening man. He's trying to stretch his back, make himself look bigger. To us? Yeah. He says, I'll take the steak anyway, though. He might not. Look at him. He's like, oh, you could have cut He's smaller pieces. Is he just sniffing it? Such a fast pop. It's not filler, is it, mate? It's just because we're trying to get him in the perma. Yeah. So I'm throwing him some meat now. And then later again, I'll come and throw him some meat again. And then so tomorrow, you can figure out come, when he's hungry enough to follow. I'm gonna try and you know, look at that belly. belly. You know the Cecil, everyone. The, Cecil the lion. Yeah, yeah I was crossed, gonna ask remember you Remember he that. crossed what? the boundary. Yeah, did now he cross there, the boundary or was he sort I, of? I don't know. I wasn't there, so I can't judge. But um, and that basically the information was he crossed the boundary. Now that boundary would have been fine if that reserve had been fenced off. Right. There's no ways of being able to coax out a lion if out of a reserve fenced, if there's yeah. a fence. Now if they go and cut the fence, then I can say, okay, he's now definitely a poacher. Yeah. But now the government doesn't really have a leg to stand on because did they or did they not do it? Yeah. They laid bait in their property, a lion yeah. from another farm came across and they shot it. So now who's wrong and who's right? Yeah. So if there was a fence there, that would not have occurred. She oh looks a, a lot smaller, doesn't she, than the bloke. Yeah. So if they've not bred now, they won't be breeding in the next few months, will they? No, well, not now because they're going to be in separate bombers. Yeah. But as soon as we release them after that, then they should, hopefully. Cool. I don't know. I want cubs, obviously, but it's always an issue. If you have cubs, what do you do with them? With them when they've grown That's up. true. Yeah. Do you have to relocate or? We would have to sell them to the other properties. People want cheetah High much? demand, high demand. There is a high demand yes. for cheetah because they but, get killed so much. But who do you give it to? You know, that's the thing. You'll oh, people, you mean the high demand for people trophy hunting? There's people in there posing as trophy hunters and things like that or these uh, petting zoo type things. You want them to be as wild as possible, don't you really? Yes, but not too wild because you don't want them getting shot. You don't want to have, you know, some properties overpopulate because of tourists. Mm. So especially your lions, leopards, hyena, they'll overpopulate them. And then what they do, unbeknownst to most tourists, is they just keep on restocking their land with zebra, things like Impala. that. Impala. To feed, obviously, the overpopulated predators. These animals cannot move anymore. They cannot go from A to B because there's a fence. Yeah. So if you do not have enough salt in A, you have to place a salt lick so that they can lick it. If you don't have water, you must put water. If you don't have food, you must bring in food. The fences do obstruct and that means that you do have to manage. And that is the responsibility of whoever owns the land. You need a balance. You need a high number of prey, high number of predators like that, so that they sort of stay at that yeah. number. So to even out the odds, you just watch the number. If it, go, if it drops a bit, you shoot a couple more animals this year shoot them, use them for the pot type of thing, um, whatever, all trophy hunters in or something yeah. like that and you make money for the reserve. Yeah. Remember, it's a business that needs and to keep going, go so you need money. And then that can go to the security anyway. To exactly. Um, so it's not about going out and blasting everything away. It's, it's, it's a controlled uh, uh, hunt. It's, it's a controlled number. The guys know exactly how many animals to the number. I think she's 30, 40 years. And the little one? The little one, he is pushing two years now. So, that rhino there with the huge horn, the mum, 
What sort of money would people get from that horn? She doesn't have her second horn that broke off, so she's only got the front horn, but she's got at least five kilograms of horn there, maybe even six. And at the moment, on the black market, the going rate is about $100,000 for one kilogram. $100,000 US dollars per kilogram? Yes, uh, at least looking at $500,000. $500,000 just sat on the front of her face. Where are they going to, these horns? Um, most of them will be going to China, they, but they, go, they get sold for different medicines. I heard recently one of the most popular medicines is for a cream, which is sold to models and stuff, you know. A makes, face cream? Yes. A face cream? Skin cream, yeah. Makes you look younger. That's ridiculous. It's got rhino horn, it's got bone of tiger, thing like that, I don't know. That's Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> absolutely horrific. That, I bet that's selling for a ridiculous amount as well, isn't it? For like top models, probably. Yes, it's a lot, yeah. These people baffle me. That, because that horn, that is essentially, isn't that just like hair? It's the nails. Nail, nail material. Yeah, it's the same, same material. Enjoy the video. Subscribe now and check out thisiscreature.com for our other projects.